The Remains of the Day is a 1989 novel by Nobel Prize winning British author Kazuo Ishiguro. The protagonist, Stevens, is a butler with a long record of service at Darlington Hall, a stately home near Oxford in England. In 1956, he takes a road trip to visit a former colleague. The reminiscences about events at Darlington Hall in the 1920s and 1930s has been expressed in this novel. Remains of the Day received the Booker Prize for Fiction in 1989. A film adaptation of the novel made in 1993 starred Anthony Hopkins and Emma Thompson. Now let us directly jump into the plot summary. The novel tells in first person narration the story of Stevens, an English butler who has dedicated his life to the loyal service of Lord Darlington, who is recently deceased and whom Stevens describes in increasing details in flashbacks. As the novel progresses, two central themes are revealed. Lord Darlington was a Nazi sympathizer and Stevens is in love with Miss Kenton, the housekeeper at Darlington Hall in Lord Darlington's estate. The novel begins in 1956 with Stevens receiving a letter from former colleague the housekeeper Miss Kenton, describing her married life, which Stevens believes hints as an unhappy marriage. Furthermore, Darlington Hall is short-staffed and could greatly use as a skilled housekeeper like Miss Kenton. Stevens starts to consider paying Miss Kenton a visit. His new employer, a wealthy American named Mr. Faraday, encourages Stevens to borrow his car to take a well-earned vacation, a motoring trip, as Kazuo Ishiguro highlights. Stevens accepts and sets out for Cornwall, where Miss Kenton, now Mrs. Ben, lives. During his journey, Stevens reflects on his unshakable loyalty to Lord Darlington, who had hosted lavish meetings between German sympathizers and English aristocrats in an effort to influence international affairs in the years leading up to the Second World War on the meaning of the term dignity and what constitutes a great butler, and on his relationship with his late father, another nonsense man, who dedicated his life to service. Ultimately, Stevens is forced to ponder Lord Tarlington's character and reputation, as well as the true nature of his relationship with Miss Kenton. As the book progresses, evident amounts of Miss Kenton's and Stevens' past mutual attraction and affection is shown. While they worked together during the 1930s, Stevens and Miss Kenton failed to admit their true feelings toward each other. Their conversations, as recollected by Stevens, show a professional friendship which at times came close to blossoming into romance, but this was evidently a line that neither dared cross. Stevens, in particular, never yielded even when Miss Kenton tried to draw closer to him. When they finally met again, Miss, Mrs. Ben, having been married now for more than 20 years, that's only Mrs. Kenton, here admits to wondering if she made a mistake in marrying, but says she has come to love her husband and is looking forward to the birth of her, their first grandchild. Stevens later muses over lost opportunities, both with Miss Kenton and regarding his decades of selfless service to Lord Darlington, who may not have been worthy of his unquestioning fealty. Stevens even expresses some of the sentiments in casual conversation with a friendly stranger of a similar age and background whom he happens upon near the end of his travels. This man suggests that it is better to enjoy the present time in one's life than to dwell on the past, as the evening, Sir Ishiguro quotes, is after all the best part of the day. At the end of the novel, Stevens appears to take, have taken this to heart 
as he focuses on the titular remains of the day, referring to his future service with Mr. Faraday and what is left of his own life. Through the remains of the day, Sir Kazuo Ishiguro focuses on themes of dignity, greatness, history, retrospection, regret, class difference, social change. He also put light upon politics, loyalty, authenticity, performance and self-deception. Thank you.